Um, well, Little Big Town's hosting, and Karen Fairchild is like my sister, friend, uh, wine drinking buddy, just one of my favorite humans. It's her birthday. Aww. So, I don't know. I'm just excited to be around. Yeah. And speaking of birthdays, you're about to be 30? Are you going? I just turned 30. Just turned 30. It's good so far. Okay. Two weeks in. Happy to report. Nice. So it's gone, what, well, the third level's good so far? So far. I love it. Um, what about um, any goals for your 30s? Any things that you want to have happen during this decade? Um, yeah, a lot. But I, I really, honestly, like, this last year in every way imaginable has, like, shifted my brain and my heart and my space and I really just want to enjoy my life yeah and okay. all all the ways available to me like I just I really want to enjoy my life okay are we cruising solo tonight or is anyone gonna meet you in there today oh um Chase is in LA he's yes. doing some work stuff but okay. he was at rehearsals Good. and okay. so um it was his first time at the Opry which was very fun to like show him around my my home away from home so yeah. he's here in spirit always I love that. Wait, could you ever could we ever see you do like a little cameo on Outer Banks I think that'd be fun uh you know what but honestly, I his space is his space and mine is mine and being able to show up and support each other just as like partners is so beautiful. Okay. Yeah. So that's gonna be a no on you guys doing a song together then? <laughs> For now. For now. Never say never, I guess. Come on over. I'll i like it quick. I'm an accessory today, so you know I'm sure. You're, like, you're a cute accessory. You're both are cute. Cute accessories to one another. Yes. I love it. Um and speaking of accessories, this is a significant accessory. This is new. Yeah. Brand new. New development? Yes, okay. yes. About five months new. Yeah, that's not a a cheeseburger. <laughs> no, it is not. No, we are growing a human. <laughs> How do you feel about it? Well, excited, yeah. You know, we were absolutely shocked at first, but obviously it's a blessing and, I mean, add another one to the family. Let's go. Yeah. So what number is this? How many kids? This is number four. Damn, wow. Well, you guys make cute kids, so you might as well, well keep popping them out. We're excited. You know, we had we toyed with it and then we were like, no, we're good with three. And then, you know, God made other plans and we're all we're, we're all for it. I love that. Oh, now, what about the other kiddos? Are they all for it too? Or? Oh, they're so excited. Okay, they're so excited. I mean, yeah. that's all we talk about, to be honest with you. We're all just preparing for the baby's arrival, and we just, I mean, it's just exciting. Because they're older now, so like they understand what's going on. Yeah. Um, so it's cool. A, a girl or boy, or do we know? Not saying not yet. Saying. We do know, but we're not saying yet. Secrets. It's a secret. It's a secret. We're probably, we're going to wait. Okay. I think, I don't know, we haven't decided yet. Just like when I made my announcement, that was not planned. I decided to announce that day randomly. <laughs> how, are you saying how far along you are? Or? Yes. I. I 20 weeks. So five months. Five months. Five months. Yeah. Okay. Five months. I mean, we're halfway yeah. there. <laughs> we're halfway there. It's like, that's great. Um, who are you guys most looking forward to seeing tonight? Well, I love Winona. She's yeah. performing. I actually got to sing with Winona at the Ryman, the Opry at the Ryman. My uh, last tour that I was on last year, I had her come out and we sang No One Else on Earth together. And it was like one of the most iconic moments of my career because I grew up listening to Winona. So very excited to see her perform tonight and just excited to present and presenting duo of the year. I love that. And it'll just be fun to just see friends. Yeah, and a little date night. That's, a little date That's night. what I was going to say. I don't know who's all going to be here, to be honest he, with you. He but last I'm, minute decided I'm, I'm on a date night. I got out of the house. He wasn't going to come. Up. Cool. Yeah. You, you <laughs> guys are such a beautiful I'm couple, excited. I have to say. Well, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate it. How do you deal with all those haters sometimes online? It's got to be annoying and frustrating. Well, how do you, like, drown out that noise? You know? Well, I just think everyone has them. I mean, we're, that's what happens when you're in this business, and if you don't have them, then you're obviously not doing anything awesome enough to get that sort of attention. attention, I guess. You know what I mean? So it comes with the territory. You just have to accept it and realize it's not real. You know, just focus on the good, our family, our love, our friends, and it is what it is. What does this mean to you? Well, it's, you know, a lot goes into it. A lot of people behind the scenes, but it's, it's nice to recognize in the 30-year career. Mm -hmm. And when they showed all the uh, video highlights today of the of my career, I was pretty impressed, too. I didn't, it goes by so fast, but it's pretty pretty uh, mind-boggling. You had such a successful career. Reflecting on your career, what are you most proud of? My songwriting. Just mm -hmm. uh, those years of uh, pounding those songs out there and, and uh, remembering where you were when each one of them were conceived and all that. It's just it's amazing. And your performance tonight, what song are you going to do? Do uh, that song I wrote for that Clint Eastwood movie, Don't Let the Old Man In. Oh, The Mule. I yeah, can't the, get that premiere in LA. Yeah. Yay.
Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah we're going to do that tonight. Uh, Rat Clark requested me to do it, so I think Blake's doing uh, Who's Your Daddy, and then I'm going to do uh, The Old Man Song. I love it. That's a good lineup. I know you've you've opened up about your cancer battle. How are you feeling today? What's good. getting you? Through? I feel pretty good. I'm, yeah. uh, it's a little bit of a roller coaster. You okay. you get good days, and, and uh, you know you're up and down, up and down, but. It's always zero to 60 and 60 to zero, but yeah. I feel good today. I think it's so cool it's in our backyard here in Nashville. So, I mean, a five-minute drive to get something like this is pretty special. Yeah. And uh, Luke Holmes, my, I love Luke Holmes. I remember seeing him just when I got off The Bachelor with, like, Colton and Blake Horseman back in 2018. Okay. And we, had, we were so fortunate to be backstage. And he was playing in front of, like, two, 300 people. And all of us walked away from that, like, he was already big then, but, like, this guy's going to take over. And yeah. like, just to watch it all, it's so cool what he's doing. It's amazing. He's such a good guy, you know? Yeah, yeah. So that's what Luke Holmes. I can't. When he gets on, I'll be jumping off my seat. <laughs> um, are you going to be watching The Golden Bachelor? Oh, I'll be watching that. Yeah. For sure. Well, I mean, it premieres tonight. Oh, it did. That's right. Yeah, so I'm going to watch the reruns tomorrow. But I think it, I think what Bachelor franchise is doing with this is so innovative. Yeah. It's going to be amazing. I don't think any American viewers have seen anything like this. Yeah. So, like, let's go. Come on, Gary from Indiana. Come on, Gary. <laughs> Honestly, if, if Gary can, there's some people here. If Gary came by, I'd be like, I'm done with this interview. Where's yeah. Gary? I need to meet that guy. <laughs> that's fair, that's fair. <laughs> Everything's going all right. Yeah. You know, day by day, there's highs and lows. And um, yeah, it's, it's uh, these situations are never easy. Like, sure. well, you know, on the better, closer to five years is a long time for anybody. Yeah. And so, um, you know, both Caitlin and I are we're working through it day yeah. by day. Yeah. You're a nice guy. You're a good looking guy. You have a good personality. You're going to be just fine. I have nice no, a lot of faith in you. <laughs> yes, I, honestly, that's super sweet of you and I hope both Caitlin and I are fine. She's an awesome person. I will always have a special place in my heart for her. How excited are you for this? Oh, it's going to be a blast. Yes. We love hosting. We've done it a few times, but never, never on NBC yes. and never for the People's Choice Country Awards because this is the first one. When I spoke with you guys last, I was asking about wardrobe changes and you guys were saying at least a few shirts, a few <laughs> pairs of jeans. <laughs> <or so. laughs> but there's no jeans in. Yeah, I know. We, right? we kind of broke out of it for a little oh, bit. No. Oh, what about you? What about the, for the ladies? What are we yeah, doing? lots yeah. of changes. Okay. I mean, why not? I why mean, not? we. I feel like we would let everyone down. And plus, it's the Grand Ole Opry, so we need some, you know, some razzle dazzle and some sequins and some rhinestones and yeah. yeah. And plus, you know, we're really this town has really become a fashion town, and yeah. we are more than just our. Fringe, right. yeah. although you will see some fringe. Yeah. <laughs> now, you guys have been to so many of these award shows. Does it ever get old, or is each one really fun and unique? I don't think any of this ever gets old. I mean, yeah. it's so much fun to get to host something like this, a party that hasn't been done before at the Grand Ole Opry House. I mean, yeah. it's, it's exciting. What is it, like, before you guys hit the carpet, like, what is something that is like a ritual tradition you guys want to make sure you do? <laughs> uh, For the carpet? And most of the time, that's a mad dash. Yeah. It's like, yeah, we're, always, we're always zipping and yeah. tucking and pulling right out as we run out the door yeah. to the carpet. Dream collaboration. Who would you guys love to work with? Oh, man. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Adele. Paul McCartney. Oh, yes, Adele. Adele? Ooh, oh, my goodness. Um, I don't know. Sting. Paul McCartney. Sting. Sting. So you're presenting tonight, I understand. Yes, I am. Do you know which category you're presenting? Out of yeah, I'm presenting the male artists, like the male trailblazing artists. I'm really, really excited. Who um, are you most looking forward to seeing tonight? I'm really excited to see Jelly Roll. Yeah. I'm really excited to see Kane Brown. Um, those are some of my favorites right now. I love Dana Shay. I love Lainey Wilson. There's so many great artists that I just love so much. Warren Treaty. Yeah. I mean, and this is the first ever People's Choice Country Awards. It's kind of so exciting. It's, I love that it's here. I love that it's here at the Opry House. It's just awesome. So work-wise, what's what's going on? What's happening? You know, I have a song out with Kane Brown right now called Nothing Compares to You. Okay. I'm getting into acting. I've done some short films that are coming out this year. I'm focusing on being a mom, new music coming out next year. It's a lot of good things. A lot of good things. Who would you love to collaborate with musically at some point? I would love to collaborate with Carrie all day. Shania, I would love to collaborate with her. Like, I love her so much. Her, I love her. She's so awesome to me. Or Gabby is now what she's calling herself. Oh, she's going by Gabby Yeah, now. she's going by Gabby now. I would love to collaborate with her or Monica. There's so many that I would love to collaborate with. Who are you wearing tonight? Moschino, head to toe. We even got these little, I mean, oh, wow. yeah, we gotta stand down again. you know, yeah, yeah. Fun. right? Material. Can 
I touch it? Yeah. It's like really cool. Yeah, so cozy. right? Very cozy. Yeah. So it's not really denim, but it has that look, you know. Now, are you just going to be enjoying? Are you presenting? Or what are we doing today? So I'm introducing, and I'm introducing one of the men of the hour. I'm introducing Hardy. Okay. So super honored. Tonight's his first night ever performing on the Grand Ole Opry stage. Yeah. It's my first time ever being on the Grand Ole Opry stage, so okay. I'm super excited. November 13th, so fired up. Yeah, I love that. It's Barmageddon this season. I mean, it's honestly, I know we always say we're going bigger and better. Yeah. We really did it this season. Yeah. We went bigger. The games are just so fun. We brought back some of our favorites, uh -huh. but we introduced some new ones, and we have great celebrity guests this season. Uh, very good. How's your son doing? He's doing so good. I actually brought him in Nashville. Mateo. Mateo. Right. Okay. And we went to Old Red this morning. I wanted him to show Broadway before, you know, it turns into a drinking fest. Exactly. The greatest show ever, right? Um, and so we went because there's a big sign of Blake Karsten and I of like saying how Barmageddon's filmed their live. Yeah. And when he looked and I'm like, that's mom. And he's like, mommy, mommy. He didn't really like it. He didn't like seeing me there and seeing me here. He got very weirded out. But I'm like, one day you'll be proud. It's okay. <laughs> how are things going post the, that name change and everything? Oh my God, so amazing. Yeah. It's, you know, I'm grateful. It's like coming out with Barmageddon and then we have Twin Love coming out. And there's just something super empowering about it. Um, just going to our roots. And I had all my high school friends hit me up like, yes, Garcia, because that's what they all knew Bri and I as. Right. So. Yeah. But it's been super amazing. In the wine line, that's doing well and everything. It's doing good. so good. Yes. Bonita, Bonita. We are growing rapidly. Uh -huh. You're going to see a lot of big things for it. Um, coming up probably in the next two years, because wine takes time. It's weird because we'll bottle stuff up now for 2025 or late 2024. Yeah. Um, but there's a lot of great things coming up. A little date night action tonight, right? <laughs> this is Cameron's first official events. Oh. He's never done a carpet or any sort of interview before. So how's this feel, sir? Oh, uh, very natural. Very yeah. natural. Did you have a shot or anything before? I, I'm dead sober. Oh, wow. yeah. I think just said, I really wish I'd had a drink before all of this. I've been pulling him into the interviews. How are you feeling about it so far? I feel, hey, it's getting a lot better than getting thrown into it up there. <laughs> now you work your way into it. Okay. By the third, fourth one, it'll be fine. I love it. I love it. Okay, so you are presenting tonight, is that right? I am presenting, and I, I think I can say this, I'm presenting with Scotty. Nice! A little so, idol reunion. A little idol reunion, um, and I love him, and yeah. they've actually never met, which is really? wild. Never met Scotty before, okay. Never. Your first time, then. Yeah, um, so I'm excited for them to meet tonight, and, yeah. and I've, I've drugged this one here tonight. He's going to quit. I hope uh, we still get married, because no, he's... No, <laughs> you will. And congrats on that. So when, when did you guys get engaged? Yeah. How long ago was that? It, was, it will be a year in November. Nice. Right? Yeah, November 18th. Okay. I said that like I didn't know. Look at this ring. Yeah, like, can we zoom in on that, Brian? I mean, that is. Good job, Cam. Nice job with that. I, I had nothing to do with it. Um, you got to say yes when you see that. Right? I know, my gosh. I just <laughs> stared at it. I didn't actually say anything for the first time in my life, yeah. did I? No. I was going to leave. I went through a lot of Cracker Jack boxes. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay, work-wise, what's going on? What's happening? I just finished up on the Pentatonix tour. We're going out with Cody Johnson next. Okay. Uh, new single, Thickest Thieves. Okay. All about body uh, empowerment and yes. curvy women. Thick with two Cs yes. as thieves. I love that. He just laughed. He's like, he, he had enough. Please, somebody get me no off what? this carpet. Um, what about, um, what do you want to share about your wedding? Any? Are you going to keep it all secret? We're, we're being fairly secretive about it. Honestly, tonight is the first time I've ever taken him to any kind of work event. I mean, yeah. he is my normalcy Aww. typically but he wanted to come the night with me i asked him yeah and he's here but we're getting married next year and we're getting married in nashville and it's gonna be quite a party so we're looking forward to it yes yes do we have a little uh some something happening there we've got something okay. i didn't just eat too much before i came on the car but girl um got another baby in there i pop out babies like candy so <laughs> what, what number of baby is this this is three wow. three and i think i'm done yeah i think good. so three is good i'm only 23 so like Damn. yeah getting to it I'm, I'm 39 you're gonna be like a great grandmother by the time i have a kid <laughs> getting to, i'm getting it done getting it done, getting it done. okay work-wise what's going on what's happening 
So we just finished touring this year. We did uh, started the tour out this year with Stagecoach debut, which was really cool. Got to do some tour dates with Kane Brown this year, and uh, got to do some headline dates um, at some historic venues in Texas, so like Green Hall and like other awesome places. So we had a great time touring this year, and now we're just really leaning into album um, coming out very soon, and we have a new song coming out next Friday. So. We got, do, do we know if it's a girl or boy? It is a girl. It's a girl. It yeah. is. It's another little girl. She'll be here early next year. If you are a triple threat tonight, right? you are presenting, you're nominated, and you're performing. Yes. I'm so excited. It's such an honor to get to do all that. Yeah. What are you going to be um, singing tonight? I'm going to sing my, it's kind of like my love letter to country music, which feels right to do in the Opry Circle. Um, it's called Country Music Made Me Do It. I've never done it before, so it's fun. Who is a dream person that, to collaborate with that you haven't yet? Yeah. Leanne Walmack or Allison Cross. Okay. Yeah. And what is your go-to ritual like before you hit the stage? Wine. <laughs> I'm ready for some wine right yes, now. Yes, girl. I, I should have snuck you some. <laughs> Presenting and nominated, right? Yeah. Yes, we are. Okay. How's that feel? Pretty good. Right? Amazing. And it, for it to be the first annual awards, I mean, we're just so excited to be here and to see so many incredible performances and um, and our friends. These are always just reunion moments for us over the year, you know, to be able to be together. Is there anyone you guys are really looking forward to seeing tonight? Or? Gosh, I think all, I mean, all these artists, especially, you know, watching some of the icons get get uh, you know recognized tonight Toby Keith you know Winona it's like the Jazz was my first concert I ever went to so in Augusta Georgia and I took a picture in front of their their truck was it James Brown Arena it was James yeah. Brown Arena and so uh, a lot of memories there but you know again just being able to come in here see all these uh, all our friends it's a madhouse backstage here so yeah. the energy is exciting and I think uh, you know we're up pretty early in the award show to present and um, you know we're hitting the road tonight so we're stuffing it in yeah Wait, you guys are hitting the road yeah. tonight? Yeah, we leave here bus. and go straight on the yeah, bus. Yeah, on the yeah. bus. We're uh, doing a tour until the end of October every weekend. So, yeah, we pick back up with the request line tour. Yeah, this yeah. weekend, tonight. We're sleep. <laughs> we will on sleep the bus. on the bus <laughs> all the way to Oklahoma. So what, okay, so tell me this. What is a tour must-have, something you need to have while you guys are on tour? Yeah. Coffee. Coffee? Yeah, coffee. Uh, my kids. They're coming this weekend. My kids. Oh, yeah. 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 It used to be whiskey, but now it's uh, ice cream. I go through <laughs> mint chocolate chip ice cream. Like it's going out of. I mean, it's crazy how much I eat. Uh, like every night. I, I can't love, help it. I love it now. Everybody, everybody's parent here? Or? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. How, now the kids. How how old? What are the ages? Youngest to oldest. So my oldest is ten, and then my twin girls are five. Wow. Yeah, and three guys, girls. Seven-year-old boy. Yeah, a five-year-old girl, nine-year-old boy. Yeah, it's a full house. Do you, are they already, like, showing some, like, musical For sure. Yeah. Hillary's little girl, for sure. My, my little kid, DJ, so, uh, yeah, you know, and, and Dave. Like his dad, like his yeah, dad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did DJ in middle school. Did you really? I love that. Yeah, but it was, like, you know, just playing songs and stuff. I mean, he actually gets on there and, like, does the little, like, marshmallow stuff. It's pretty fun. The, the woman of the hour, the champion of I mean, this is fantastic. I love you. Wow. I love you. It, mean, it means that my son and my daughter realize how hard I've worked and it pays off. And that's the truth. It's easy to stand up here with sparkles and makeup and hair and everything grand. But I'll go home tonight, wake up, get on a plane, fly to Denver to do one show. Wow. Because that's what we do. Yeah. Right? Right. When reflecting on your career, and you've had such a successful career, what are you most proud of? That I still have money. Okay. <laughs> well, that's a lot of five. That's top five. Okay. No, seriously. Okay. It's really easy to lose everything when you win the lottery. It really is. I'm grateful that I have land, that I have family, I've got a granddaughter, and that I have people that love me no matter what number I am on the scale or the charts. And love is the answer, so I'm going to say that I still have people in my life that tell me that they love me in spite of what I've done. God's grace. I named my daughter Grace because of it. So, yeah. That's so nice. Who have you not collaborated with that you would love to at some point? Chris Stapleton. Chris Stapleton. Yes. 
Oh, that that is a partnership that yeah, needs to happen. Yeah, that needs to happen. I love that. Do these award shows ever get old, or they are they funny? They don't get old. It's always something to try to find something to wear that I haven't already done. But otherwise, I love the people. This is my family yeah. of choice. Yeah. So I love showing up. It's like a family reunion. Mm -hmm. That part's great. I love it. I, did, I don't. We, we won't talk about. It, but I just want to extend my condolences about your mom. And I just, I'm, I, grief is a horrible it's thing. It's been and devastating. Just, it's yeah. been devastating. But I'm turning my pain into purpose. Mm -hmm. And I go on stage every night and I sing like it's my last show because you never know. So what are you most excited about this evening? My goodness. Well, getting to see a lot of so my friends. I'm supposed to crash this interview, yeah. so here I am. He's always stealing my thunder. I, know, I can't help it. That's what I do. I'm excited to see this one perform. Yes. I'm nervous. I don't know why, but I'm nervous tonight. Yeah, a little bit. Do you do anything before you hit the stage? For this, for both of you guys? No, just think about how cool it is. When we did uh, Wait in the Truck together uh, a few months ago, I just had a big sense of like peace and calmness and just yeah. like you know and I'm hoping for the same tonight just just uh, think about how cool all the good vibes and, yeah, yeah all the good vibes for sure who have you guys not collaborated with that you would love to collaborate with at some point man I, I love Eric Church Eric Church is uh he's one of my favorites and he has been for a long time we have the same producer Mr. Jay Joyce and uh, I just think what he does is cool. He goes against the grain. Yeah. He's not trying to be like anybody, sound like anybody. Yeah. Um, I just think he's a great storyteller. And who, are, who? What about you? Post Malone. Post Malone. That's been a popular one tonight. I've heard that a few times. Everybody does. I know everybody wants a little, a uh, little bit of Post Malone, but so do I. I think he's so cool. I like. That. I hear he's in the country, and I, I legit think if we did something, it could be really cool. So. I do too. Yeah. Post. Hit him up. Hit me up, dog. Hit I know him you're up. watching. <laughs> I know you're watching. Do that. Okay. We're Work-wise, what's going on in your lives? What's happening? Well, actually, we can't get away from each other because we're actually on the road with each other right now. Wow! Yeah. So uh, it's been a blast, though. Yeah. Her crew is awesome, and uh, I can officially say that your boyfriend's awesome because since Aww, everybody actually knows right. you have a boyfriend now. Yeah. yeah. Um, but it's been really fun, and yeah. I'm uh, currently in the studio a little bit. Okay. So. Nothing coming really soon, but I'm starting to actually record some music, so I'm excited. Okay. What about you? Uh, well, same. I'm about to be in the studio, um, about to be cutting more music, which I feel like even before we put out a record, we're already working on that next record. Yeah. It just kind of feels that way. And um, But that's one of my favorite parts of this whole job is being in the studio, uh, writing the music, creating the song, getting to uh, just bring something to life. It's it's the coolest thing ever. I'm getting the rap, but um, what's a must-have uh, while you guys are on tour? Something you can't forget to bring. For me, it's Hall's Cough Drops. <laughs> oh, that's good. What about you? Um, dude, honestly, just water. What are you guys most excited about this evening? Oh, I'm excited to perform. Yeah. We're performing a song off of our new album for the first time. Okay. Uh, we're fired up. Bigger House is the title track of the album. Nice. We're so proud of this album. We think it's our best album of our career so far. And uh, to get to perform it live here at this show for the first time, is, it's exciting. We're pumped. Okay. And I'm excited about the voice you guys have in there. Oh, we're fired up. It's been crazy. We've been, uh, we've been going out there a lot and it's a crazy process we've been having so much fun with Queen Reba and getting to hang with her representing yeah. country music out there in LA so it's a lot of fun intimidating working with Reba oh for sure for sure she's the sweetest person in the world I think that's what makes it more intimidating you know she's so kind it's like all right you don't want to disappoint Reba yeah she's the she best, kills though. you with a smile you know she, she beats you and she's got she looks good doing it so that's that's intimidating I love it and that first ever coaching duo right that's right it's the very first one yeah. it built us this uh, this pretty cool double chair yeah so I was joking can say it was actually just Blake's old chair and they just put a divider in the middle of it. It's a big guy. Uh, but no, we've been having so much fun and to make a little bit of history is pretty cool on the voice there. You look phenomenal. By well, thank you so much. I appreciate it. You look so good. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, thank you. Thank you. I got to stand next to him all the time. I had to catch up.